Shalom fam, it's that biblical babe, Jelly B. Walk on. I got a message for you guys and it's from a dream, okay? I do feel like my lips are a bit dry, not gonna lie. But yeah, let me tell you this. The Lord, there's gonna be a miracle in somebody's life. Somebody's gonna see miracles, signs and wonders. And I keep getting this same scripture, it's Acts, where um, Peter, he was freed. Somebody's about to receive a miracle. Somebody's been locked up in something, being under some kind of spiritual arrest. And you're going to receive freedom, but it's going to be through miracles, signs and wonders. And this is what the Lord showed me. There's somebody, you are sitting through a test. You're going for a test right now. And uh, it looks like right now that you need help. That whatever um, you were supposed to learn, you didn't do the reading properly. You didn't study to show yourself approved. There's something you missed. And um, in the dream, it was actually really cool. Because um, what's going to happen in your life is that you are seated next to somebody that has all the answers for you. The answers, they've already sat the test, they did the reading, and it's gonna be very easy for you. You're going to receive favor. And this favor is gonna come in two ways. One way, in that you're gonna be seated next to people that already have the answers, that you're gonna be put in positions that you're not even qualified for. You're going to be seated right next to people that already have sat this test, passed it, and the answers are right there for you. And, um. Also, you're going to be provided with information, some sort of information that allows you to not really have to go through this test. It's like it's you're, you're having a streamlined service. This is what the Lord is doing for you. I also saw there's somebody who you're going to be really favoured by this person. Your needs are going to be provided for. The things that you like, that you need, that you have on a daily basis, that you feel like you're lacking, somebody is going to provide that for you. And this is what the Lord has set up in your, your test. But this person, this is what I have to tell you about this test that you're going through. It's actually not for you. There is somebody that's watching you that is very innocent. And uh, the name that was used in the script, sorry, in the dream, it means twin. Now, obviously, I don't believe in no twin flames or anything like that. But I do believe, as the scriptures say, that the Lord makes somebody a helper, a help meet for. Uh, I'm so sorry, I'm getting distracted. There is somebody that you are going for a test, but all the answers are being provided for you. The next steps are being provided for you. This test is not really for you. It's for the person that is watching you. And this person is somebody that the Lord has aligned, that sees you both as one. The Lord sees you both as one. You came as one. You are two separate sides of a purpose. That's what I'm getting in my spirit. You are two separate sides of a purpose. And this person is watching you. They're looking at how you are going through this test and the answers that you're receiving, they're not actually for you. This test is not for you. And you have to just recognize that this is probably a revelation that you needed, that the test is not actually for you. It's for the person that's watching you. And this person who is watching you, they're seeing how you deal with this test and they're going to see this miracle sign and wonder that the Lord is going to do, going to provide for you and how you are being favored because it is through the Lord. He is doing this. And this is what I think we also, we forget this a lot of the time. That the things that we go through, it's not just for us that, oh, we're suffering because of this. It's like the scriptures. The people that experience certain things with the Most High God in the scriptures are there for our benefit to learn, to recognize, to be able to understand that, oh, that's the Lord. That's how he moves. Or that's what he does. Or that's his laws. Or this is what he says. Or that's his heart. This is how he loves his people. And so this is what this test really is about. You are going to, or you're going for a test right now that seems like above you, like you ain't qualified for this, that whatever studies you were supposed to do, you didn't do them. You was unprepared, but all of the answers are being provided to you. There's going to be people, a specific person that's going to favour you and provide everything you need, watch over you as you're going through this test. But there is also somebody that's watching you and is receiving an infilling of the Holy Spirit, the anointing of the Holy Spirit, which is what happens when you become saved, when you recognize and witness who the, 
the Lord really is. This is what's happening in a person who is actually watching all of the things that you're going through. So do not, don't think that this test is for you. It's not. <laughs> this test is not for you. You are just an epistle. This is your story that is allowing somebody else to receive the Holy Spirit, to receive the helper, to realize that I don't want to sit in a test, you know, and be struggling. I want the answers too. I want someone to come and help me. And that person, the one who they're going to call on because they've seen your experience is the Lord, okay? So this is just a message for somebody that the Lord showed me this. You're going for a test right now, but the test you're going to have the answers to if you don't already have them, it's going to be provided for for you. And somebody's going to favor you because the Lord wants to show this other person that is watching you, that is on the same purpose path as you, who he truly is is you are a conduit of the blessing you are carrying the anointing the holy spirit the witness that the lord is trying to show to somebody else he's trying to articulate himself through you through your tests that others somebody else who is described as your twin not no twin flame your twin this could be to do with marriage that is your, your a husband and a wife one of you are going to be able to um Go for a test and pass with flying colours, even though you didn't do the studies that you, you were supposed to do. You're going to pass with flying, flying colours. You're going to be favoured, but it's because of this other person, whatever purpose partner it is, whoever this person is. It's just so the Lord can reach them, can speak to them through your testimony, through your, your scripture, because we're living our scriptures with the Lord, right? But yeah, that's the message that the Lord gave me for somebody. This test ain't for you, you know. Stop trying to take on too much. It ain't for you. It's actually for the person who is witnessing your witness. All right? So stay blessed. Stay encouraged. Now remember, don't get all up in your feelings and think it's all about you. It's not about you. Our journey with the Lord, our purpose, once we come into truth, is the people who are, are assigned to our purpose. All right? But yeah, I pray this is wisdom for somebody and that it reaches whoever needs it in Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom.